This is ABC's World News Now. Hello to our fans online. I'm Dan Kleffler. And I'm Brandi Hitt with the top stories on this Monday, September 1st. And we begin with the severe weather affecting much of the country on this Labor Day weekend, including the start of the college football season. The Florida-Idaho game was not just delayed, it was postponed until another day because of dangerous lightning. Fans sat and waited in the rain for nearly three hours before officials sent them all home. And severe weather in New York halted play at the U.S. Open, but that ended up being good news for second seeded Roger Federer, who ended up winning after getting a much needed break due to the weather. Some mean spirited hackers are posting nude celebrity photos online after they breached Apple's iCloud service and stole these snaps. The celebs include Jennifer Lawrence, who has verified the photos are hers. Some stars, however, are denying the pictures are of them. Other victims include Kate Upton, Kim Kardashian, and pretty much every other star you've ever seen on the red carpet. And this x-ray is of a robbery suspect now under arrest in Utah. Take a look. She was allegedly an accomplice of a man who had been shoplifting at a jewelry store. And that is the evidence there. Yes, that's a ring said to cost several thousand dollars seen in the stomach of that female suspect. She apparently swallowed it to hide it from police who now have the unfortunate task of having to handle the retrieved evidence. We'll have to see how that one's going to end up. Finally, an impressive leap of faith for a family in Utah. Four generations of women from one family went skydiving together, all in hopes of breaking a world record. 91-year-old Marie Kimmy came up with the idea to do the jump with her children, her grandchildren, and her great-grandchildren. She said that she thought it'd be a fun thing to do after seeing former President George H.W. Bush skydive for his 90th birthday. I like that this was Marie's idea. <laughs> Big congrats, kids. You're following along. Get more news anytime at ABCNews.com. I'm Dan Pfeffler. And I'm Brandi Hitt. Thank you so much for watching. This is ABC's World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. ABC News to see the whole picture.